All right guys, so as promised, here's my full tutorial on how I add images to planner covers. This process works for the Happy Planner, Deluxe Covers, their Snapping Covers, and also the Recollections Ring Binders. So let's get started. All right, guys, so first thing first, we're going to take the factory finish off of the planner cover. And then mine also had some foiling on it, so I'm just taking that off as well. So to do that, you just take some of the acetone and put it on your cotton swab or ball or square in my case. And literally just rub it off. It really doesn't take that long and it doesn't take that much effort. You'll see that I'm moving the cover around because with the polka dots, it was kind of like um, embossed into the cover. So I'm just making sure I'm getting into all those nooks and crannies and getting out as much of the foiling as possible. And then repeat with the back cover as well. So next up, I'm just taking some washi tape and marking off the plastic part of the planner cover so that I, you know, just to make sure I don't get paint on that part. This part really isn't important with this project in particular because I'm not changing the color of the planner, but force a habit. So right now I'm just taking the image and trying to figure out exactly where I want it to be. I printed it a little larger than I originally intended, so I had to change up my plan a little bit. Okay, and so now it's time to paint. So I take the neutral paint. It looks white in the bottle, but it dries, dries clear, and I pretty much use that as the glue to adhere the, the picture to the planner cover. So kind of like the same concept when you would make collages in school or pretend that it's like Mod Podge and you want to put paint on the back and front of the cover. And you'll also notice that I like to align my image within the stitching of the planner cover just because it, I feel like it gives it a cleaner look. When I first started making these I would wrap it around the edge of the covers and you know, since the corners and things like that get the most beating, the images started to come off in those areas because it was getting the most beating pretty much. So I am showing this in real time as well because I wanted to show that this really doesn't take a very long time. The longest part of this process is the drying time because you want you really do want to make sure that you wait until it's completely dry before adding another coat. So I also wanted to mention that this was, or this is an image from a shop on Etsy called Her Name is Savvy. This was a freebie in our Facebook group um, in honor of November, which is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. The owner name is Savannah, obviously Savvy for short, and she's just a huge sweetheart. Um, images like these are pretty abundant in her group. She's always posting images like these to show support and awareness for anything that's going on. I wanted to read her posts that she did when she added these images to the Facebook group just so you guys can get an idea of the type of sweetheart she is. Hello everyone, I'm popping in with another awareness dolly. 
November's Lung Cancer Awareness Month. This dolly was created to show support and spread aloha to everyone who has been affected by this disease. Sending hugs and light, never lose hope. So at this point, I have pretty much sped it up because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and all I'm really doing is making sure that I don't, or trying to minimize the paint strokes that I have on the image and make it all an even layer on the top. Also, it is okay if you paint past the image. As you can see, there is paint on the actual cover. Um, but as we do, once we put on the um, layers of the satin finisher, it will all be blended in together. So don't worry about that. So as you can see here, I just used a notepad to like wipe off the excess paint off my paintbrush and then and close the paint and here is an up close view of the first layer while it is still wet so you do want to see like the color of the planner cover through the image as you can see you can see the black through the white of the image and that's exactly what you want So as you can see here, the image is partially dry. So what I'm just showing you is where the image is completely dry. It's opaque and you can't see the black through the image. Okay, and then once the entire image is completely dry, then you wanna go on with the second layer of the neutral paint over the image. So the computer paper is pretty porous. So what will happen if you were just to go ahead with the satin finisher to seal everything in is that the paper would drink up pretty much the satin finisher. So the cover, the black part, would um, be shiny and then the paper would still look matte because the satin finisher was being soaked into the paper. So we want the paper to soak in the neutral paint instead so then when we go in with the satin finisher, everything is... Um, uniform and kind of blurred together and here's a photo because it wasn't picking up in the film but i wanted to show like i stated before when you paint past the image you can tell but what you'll see after the layers of satin finisher that goes away like it's all uniform and looks all the same so we did two layers of the neutral paint and now we're going to go in with the satin finisher and we're gonna do three layers of the satin finisher. So you wanna also make sure that you're wiping off your coverage. You'll see me doing that constantly. I have two dogs, so hair just appears everywhere, but you don't wanna paint, you know, seal hair into your project. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping an eye on that. That's also what the purpose of the tweezers are for. So just in case you do find something after you've already you know, put paint down, you can take the tweezers and pick it up really quickly. I apologize for the lighting as well. I was using sunlight and the sun was going down, but eventually I do cut on the light here soon. So, my bad. So yes, light, and so I also lost the footage of me painting the second layer of the satin finisher, so I'm sorry, but this is after the second layer had been finished, or had been painted and dry, and dried, and dried, yes, and dried, and then this is me painting on the third layer of satin finisher. So like you saw in the last uh, clip as well, that um, 
the overpainting I had done past the image, you can't really tell anymore. And then once I do this third layer, it's really going to be pretty much invisible, which you will see after this. And I don't think I have mentioned it yet, but you want to do multiple thin layers rather than um, thick layers because then it won't dry properly. So you really want to, you know, do a really thin layer, let it dry, then do another layer and sort of build it up gradually rather than trying to plop all the paint down all at once. And here is the third layer while it's still wet. Look how shiny and glossy it is. It'll tone down just a bit um, when it's dry, but that's how it's looking right now. And this is the finished product. So you can see it looks nice and uniform. One of the main reasons why I use computer paper is because it's so thin. So you want the image to look like it's part of the planner rather than, um, you know, adhere to the top of it. So with the computer paper, you, um, it's kind of like the best way that I've found that you get that illusion. And here are some examples of some other planner covers that I have done. So this is the big um, Happy Planner snapping cover. You can tell that it's not finished because it doesn't have like that um, that gloss to it. You can tell from how matte it's still looking. And then the elephant I did for my boyfriend's mom. And that was a mini snapping cover. And and this was originally like the black with polka dots that I used for this video as well. You can kind of tell in the white, you can see the dot, the polka dots, where the polka dots were. And this was also my first time trying like the ombre look in the background, the purple to the white. So I'm really proud of that because I really liked how it came out. And this final one is a Recollections Personal um, Binder. So it has the same exact anchor image as the big snapping cover and I just thought it would look really nice with the gunmetal colored recollections planner so I paired it with that. So I know someone's gonna ask, am I taking orders? Will I be selling these? And the answer is yes. I will take 10 orders guaranteed to be shipped by December 15th so that you guys can have them in time for Christmas. So here are my prices depending on the size of the planner. Um, the price includes the actual planner cover, like I will go and get it myself. The, um, the customization, so whatever image you decide, and up to two custom colors. I only use Angelus Direct Paints. I'll leave a link below. But you, you'll find that they have a multitude of colors if you would like to, you know, add color to your planner cover. Um, just let me know what colors you would like. This planner color cover in particular is not for sale. But if you are interested in her artwork in particular, um, please let me know. So for more info or just any questions at all, at all, just message me or email me. Um, please don't forget to check out Her Name is Savvy. Join her Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. And as always, never settle for face value.